Hello and welcome back to our health news channel, where we keep you informed about the latest updates in healthcare. Today, we're discussing an important issue, the concern over a focus on skin color and routine health checks for newborns. The NHS Race and Health Observatory recently led a review that questioned the relevance and accuracy of traditional newborn health checks for babies belonging to ethnic minorities. These checks have traditionally used skin color as a key indicator, which may not be reliable across different ethnic backgrounds. Let's start with the Opgar score. This quick assessment, performed immediately after birth, checks the baby's muscle tone, pulse, reflex, response, breathing rate, and appearance. The appearance of the baby is often assessed based on the skin color, but pink all over being seen as healthy. This biased assessment is exemplified by terms like pink, being used to describe a well-perfused baby, disregarding the diversity of skin colors within our population. The review found that many people believe the language used in these assessments is inappropriate and needs to change. While most healthcare professionals have adapted to looking for color changes around the lips, for example, there's a lack of consistency in the approach. The report calls for the evaluation of alternative systems for checking well-being. The review also raised concerns about assessing jaundice, a common condition in newborns. The traditional method, a visual check of the baby's skin, can be problematic for babies from ethnic minorities. Lauren Clark, a research practitioner, had a personal experience with this issue. Her son Jackson was diagnosed with jaundice when he was six days old. Despite Lauren's concerns about her son's yellow skin tone, the jaundice was only identified once the levels had become dangerously high. This review strongly recommends the establishment of a national image database and more consistent training for healthcare staff and parents. It also suggests the use of handheld meters to measure jaundice levels to provide more objective assessments. In conclusion, the co-chairs of the NHS Race and Health Observatory Group working on maternal and neonatal health have stated that the review is a call to action. They highlighted the need for more objective measures to mitigate racial bias and aim towards a more equitable healthcare system. That's all for today's episode. Please stay tuned for more updates and remember, knowledge is the key to better health. Until next time.